Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And in true fashion, we got the heroes versus the villain right here looking at our hats, which is so awesome. We are excited to check out this video here. If you're excited for our reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let us know what you want us to react to in the future. We're looking at a Patreon request. We love all of our Patreons. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. So many of you, I mean, Gabe, honestly, we're so spoiled. I would say like 90% are longtime patrons and some new ones, which we love them all. And this is a request from Priya Ray. Priya says, guys, I requested a video reaction for Kamal Hassan, a nostalgic revisit to 61 years of Indian cinema. Can you please check it out? Absolutely, Priya. Thank you so much for that request. Kamal Hassan is an acting legend in Indian cinema. Six, I didn't know he was doing 61 years, though. The guy just yeah. came out with uh, Vikram, which I'm so mad at myself because I heard so many amazing things about it. And when I was finally ready to go check it out because I was going out of town doing this or that, it was already out of the theaters here in, in uh, where we're at. There was no theaters playing it, which was kind of surprised me because it was only like the second week it was out. It already got taken out of theaters. This guy um, I hear was fantastic in that. He's primarily – primarily Tamil cinema, but he's done it all for crying out loud. And, and we're going to be checking out a tribute video to him. If you want to be a patron, if you want to get your request in, if you want to say our, your name on our channel, go ahead and look down below to see how to make that happen. Gabe, have you done 61 years of anything yet in your life? Mm, well, seeing as it's, uh, 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 I just turned 42 no, I haven't done 60 Jackie years. Jackie Robinson. And, uh, you know, when you think about it, man, just being con uh, uh, committed to a craft that long, it's it, it's it's crazy, right? Most people think 30, 30 years. Let's just say 30 years, uh, 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 most people work their job before retirement. 61 That's is a long insane. Time and, yeah. you know, I think about guys that in Indian cinema, for instance, Big B. Big B has has stood the test of time, right? I'm going batch him. It's very easy to be that flash in the pan when you are young, when you are energetic, when you're good looking. But to me, the true uh, mark of acting chops is when you're able to transcend and A, play different characters and you're allowed, and you're also able to almost become a chameleon and, through, and generationally move on. You know what I mean? Because... You've got actors that are forever. I'll, I'll give you an example, man. You know, to me, in American cinema, bro, Pacino, De Niro. I mean, these guys were just in the film, which I love, The Irishman on Netflix. And you can still see the acting chops. These guys were absolutely, I mean, De Niro was good, but Pacino just ate him up, bro. As, as Jimmy Hoffa, Pacino was. And I'm like, guys, go back and think about all the great blockbusters Al Pacino's been in. From The Godfather to Scarface, Heat. Him and De Niro were in Heat together over 30 years ago, or 20 years ago, easily. Uh, so that longevity, you know what I mean? Then you got actors that are on the scene for like five minutes, and then they're gone. And by me saying five minutes, it's usually, you know, four or five years, a decade, and you're lucky. You know, Tom Cruise has been around since Risky, risky Business. Actually, wrong. He's been around since The Outsiders. He was in that movie. He played like The a Outsiders, small role. yeah. The, the younger brothers and then look who, who Tom Cruise became so and he's been in the in the industry at least is he one of our oldest actors in Hollywood he's got to be in there for like 30 plus years man um you know what's crazy is Harrison Ford just turned 80 years old now Harrison Ford didn't get started until later in his life late okay. 20s right which does not seem that late but some of these actors they start so early he was a carpenter, struggling actor until he made his break with a small part in American Graffiti, big part in, in uh, Star Wars, obviously. But yeah, 80 years old, and the guy's filming Indiana Jones 5, which is crazy. So we have we have some Christopher Plummer just recently passed away. I think he was in his 90s, for crying out loud. Um, he was in what, like Sound of Music? Think about that. An actor who was the lead role, the dad in Sound of Music, just died recently, That's a few years ago. Insane. 
that's, that's insane. insane. Now, I might have my actors confused because I always get a few of them co confused. But the 61 years, I mean, I'm looking it up. Yeah, the 1960s is when this guy started acting. He's also a politician. He's the president of his party, all that kind of stuff. This guy, he he's very involved, and he's also credited for bringing a lot of technologies, cosmetics into the Indian film industry. So this guy, you talk about um, Tom Cruise, like the stunt work, right? This guy has uh, his stamp in Indian cinema, in the Tamil industry and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and check this out. We appreciate everyone sticking around, listening to us. Let's go ahead and react to this. Are, uh, are you ready? Always, my friend. Always. All right. So let's check this out. Should be subtitles. Would be fantastic. In three, two, one. As one of the crowning legends of Indian cinema reaches 61 years of being in it, here's an opportune moment to look at what has made Kamal Hassan, well, Kamal Hassan, or as he is fondly referred to being, Ula Ganayagan. Ula Ganayagan. I thought he had four National Film Fair Awards. <laughs> As already well known, it began with this little kid of three who portrayed such variety of emotions in his very three? film as a child actor. Wow. The fact that even at that age, he could bring in such a range of expressions on his little face with those big eyes, a performance that got him his first national award. Wow, that is pretty impressive for a young uh, youngster. I had no idea he started at three, that's crazy. Looking at it now feels like that was the beginning of a glorious destiny. Got an Several award for years that. later cool. you saw him again on screen as a teenager. Talented actor again, not a big name as such, but just one among many without any particular spotlight on him. Did you see him then and go, hey this one's pretty talented, not sure who that is but he can <laughs> go places. So when did you become a Kamal Hassan fan? Were you the one who suddenly discovered him with his super success as what they call a hero and went like, this guy acts, fights his own fights. Yeah, he's a really good dancer better too. than most. Spider-Man kiss for a second. Pretty good at singing as well. Where was he all this while and how is he able to do so much? Were you charmed by the romantic hero or rooting for the guy whose love met a tragic end once, then again and again? Feels like being emotionally blackmailed but hey, he did make you feel for him, didn't he? By now, you know this guy dances well. I mean, pretty well. You think you've seen all of it? But then comes another performance that cannot be redone because no superstar can simply match him when it comes to doing all these different forms of classical dance. He moves like no one ever before, not quite as effortlessly. The personal journey of the Bharatanatyam dancer who quit everything for his dance training finally seems to have got wow. its due. What about, say, Kamal 2.0? Seeing him portray the grey shades of a man who was a dawn for many, saviour for others. Perhaps a god-devil paradox, something that we will see in his characters later very often, especially with the ones he writes. He does a much-loved silent film in the times when bringing up the idea of making one would make people go, are you guys teleported or something? <laughs> Dude, we have talkies and colour films. What is the point of doing this now? But of course, the film is made and the novel approach pays off. The novelty is still widely talked about. Yeah, way before the artist came out. Then he reappears no one talks about as that the kind movie. of hero we have truly never seen before. The adorable little Apu. Literally little. <laughs> The man who is made vengeful by painful rejection and knowing how he came to be. 
I mean, no offense to Raja, great guy, but we can all agree Appu stole the show and remains the most loved dwarf hero to date. No, I'm not bragging. That's just well stating a plain fact. To anyone who at that time thought, "Hey, this guy played two characters. One of them was a dwarf. He did it brilliantly. How better can it get from here?" How do you play a dwarf without the help of the CGI of today? I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. Yeah. Well, were you prepared to see him play four characters in a comedy that would have its own cult following? Oh. Then an emotionally and mentally sort of stunted protagonist in another drama that gets again its own cult following. What about another reference to The Godfather, where perhaps his skill and acclaim as the writer takes over his recognition as the hero of the film? That is a pretty epic feat for someone who has done so much already as a superstar actor. Ana vede naam botadu idala na perumaya ha kadame omurthurudi kadame let's get to a single moment that speaks for itself a father who after long separation from his children goes out looking for them then discovers his daughter in the most shocking condition that one could not oh have gosh. even imagined or when he hears her speak while asleep more like what he hears her say wow look at that Perhaps reaction one of the most heartaching moments one has ever seen yeah. on screen did you love him then as the actor the writer or both what about seeing him play a police officer in a film unlike most cop films even now or the honest patriotic idealistic freedom fighter who you probably couldn't recognize the first time i mean this guy is of course kamal hasan yeah of course But is he Kamal Hasan? Is he not? Who is that? Uh well looking at the career by now. Yeah. That is him. This was immediately followed by playing a father <laughs> who is pretending to be a middle-aged female caretaker Mrs. just Doubtfire? to be near his child. Yeah. The look, the mannerisms, the whole effect of the performance was well. I think if you have a sip of water every time I say unlike ever before, you'd be very hydrated so yeah probably have a sip now of course there's a brilliant mr robin williams but to cast your own identity in a character that will be compared to a strong hollywood reference he did it once and he did it again so they actually had a film called Reaching the godfather that's the dream heights of stardom we have a filmmaker who is longing to come out of the shadows he comes out in a brilliantly led and nuanced semi fictional portrayal of the times of post partition an experiment with the truth of how communal hatred not only marked a violent and bloody beginning of india's independence but also claimed the life of the father of the nation it was about that bullet of hatred that did not cease to exist even after that assassination making this film as relevant now as a film can be ellam sivamayam endru solli vidu enakku ellam payamayam <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> After a comedy that also brings in the plight of Sri Lankan Tamils, the violence that they have endured, you have a film that you can say was truly ahead of its time. Perhaps what makes people appreciate an Alavandan or Abhay now is our access to pop culture elements in the film that are a staple in Hollywood. But before internet familiarized these elements to our masses, there was Alavandan. It existed before a show like Mind Hunter popularized the link between a problematic mother figure and psychopathy mm. and even before you accepted that violence in 2D animation was bad for child psychology but cool as hell to watch. Yes, the god devil paradox is also back and it will be more distinctly popularized here on. You wish to be more hydrated? Maybe consider having a sip of water every time I say cult because we have come to Panjadantiram and Anvisivam two films that as millennial lingo articulates have a separate fan base of their own then when he returns as viramandi he once again gives a film that will familiarize us with roshamon effect as a narrative style the unreliability of what we see as the definite nature of what we call the truth and present a very thought provoking take on capital punishment a rather unpopular stance to take even now. Yes, Dr. Ram. I reacted to this scene. Anna! 
I love her writing as she's given this video essay of uh, Kamal Hassan. Fantastic writer. He is a very talented writer. Of course, then there were much loved performances of the goon turned doctor, the instinctive and suave police officer, in between a black comedy that is unlike escapist ones that we are so used to. It was more grounded and capturing everyday life in its approach. By this time, perhaps our folks probably thought, yeah, this is it. Probably it. I mean, seriously, how can someone push any further? What is he going to do now? Play 10 characters <laughs> in one movie? So, no. guess what happened? Yep, you know it. The man wrote a film that talks about the evolution and conflict between religion and science, theism and rationalism, mentioning chaos theory, butterfly effect, talking about the stupidity of bio-warfare or at least even planning for one while having 10 characters that represent different religions, views, nationalities, wow. socio-political standing based on the 10 reincarnation of Lord Vishnu. That was the writing part. Then comes playing these 10 characters. Can we speak frankly for a moment and say that that was crazy? <laughs> Absolutely bad shit. Crazy. Props to the makeup this artist is as mad too. as it gets, folks. Mad in a good way, you see. Then yeah, came one film that brought the whole nation together before hooliganism in the name of demanding ban on films got a whole new validation. This is a film that presented a balanced look at terrorism set on a grand scale, sensitizing viewers about the wrongly stigmatized religious identities, a Muslim man with Kashmir in his name and a terrorist father, easily accepted as a terrorist himself but misunderstood, questioned over his nationality, his patriotism while fighting those who are brainwashed into committing violence for those seeking more power and control in the name of religion. Thankfully, the layered and nuanced take on terrorism reached one and all after a nationwide support for the art and the artist. Recently, we've had an interesting look at three fathers. Different from one another, for their struggles are different. One explores themes like mortality, pursuit of art that outlives him, and being accepted by those he had lost in his pursuit of stardom. The second looks to protect his family and go to any extent for it. By the end, even those you root for are stained and perhaps emotionally damaged beyond repair. The third father is again an emotionally distant one, having the grey shades we associate with his characters by now, again made vulnerable when confronted with protecting his own. That is some of the work from Kamal Hassan's journey spanning 61 years. Of course, we would have missed talking about certain films, maybe rushed over a few, but the fact that it takes this long to just touch Touch upon his illustrious career is evidence of his longevity as a film artist. So obviously, one video will not suffice for talking about over 200 films. As fans, we have all grown, even evolved, watching him. A lot of us became active film buffs because of him. So here's our naive hope of having more to celebrate and talk about in the coming years. Happy 61 years of Kamalism. <laughs> Happy 61 Kamalism. years of Kamal Hassan in Indian cinema. Nice. Wow, I got so many thoughts about this gig. Um, first of all, amazing video by the, the maker, the narrator, the writer. This should have way more than just 44,000 views. This was an amazing video essay tribute, but not just a tribute. This was like a deep delve into his career in just about 10, 13 minutes. And showing someone like myself who knows very little besides the name of this actor, a lot of his journey and how what I took from this was this is a guy who was not just making movies just for a paycheck which I wouldn't blame any actor who was. You got a job, right? This is not a guy who was just trying to stay on top or have a hit movie to hit movie. He was more concerned with, it seems like, the story that's being told. And how can I tell that story in the most real way, but not just banking on this character I created for myself? People you know, make fun of someone like Adam Sandler who says he's the same character every single time. Well, that's because you know that's what the audience wants. They love Adam Sandler for crying out loud. 
This guy was someone literally different every single time. It seemed like in this tribute. And last thing I want to say just off the bat is this really inspired me to want to check out a lot of those films from the way it was described because each and every one of them sound, it seems so interesting to something that I would want to watch and get something from. Even the terrorist movie for crying out loud. It takes a lot of balls to make that movie for crying out loud. So initially I want to uh, piggyback on what you said. This video was put together was so well was so well, done done so well. I've actually tried to do create a video essay. It is super hard to do. You know, not just hard. to create the video, but the, the the editing and the video. It is super hard to do. So you know, tip of the cap, if you guys watch this, share it with people. Not from our channel, from their channel, just to get it more love. It because honestly, this was really really cool, and it deserves way more views. Nick's correct. Um, with that being said, you know. First and foremost, I also want to agree with you. I am super intrigued. Two films in particular that stood out to me is the one where he plays 10 characters and he talks about literally each character represents a different ideology, whether it was the theism, uh, religion, nuclear, or like everything in there. Like, wow, this guy is a boundary pusher, right? Like you said, you know, having the stones to touch on topics and maybe uh, uh, do films that aren't going to be popular or may even bring about some controversy, but just doing it for the sake of art sake, you know what I mean? That's awesome. And I, and I really enjoyed that. And then I'm pretty sure that at the end, she mentions one of those films where he plays the, with, the, with the three different father roles. That's got to be Drisham. And if he's in Drisham, we've never seen that version of Drisham. I want to see it because Drisham is one of my favorite Indian films. And we've seen, what, right. three versions yeah. of Drisham, Drisham now at this point. And I want to see how he compares versus the uh, the acting chops of the other um, actors. Is it Mahamla that played in um, the Mahamla, one uh, yeah. Drisham? Film? Exactly. Show we fought. And um, oh, I can't remember the other actor that plays in uh, Drisham. Um, oh, my of, gosh. Uh, You're going to drive. I have to uh, think about it. It's, it's driving me crazy. I can't think of it right now. I can picture his face. I cannot remember his name for the for the life of me. Um, but in any event, Nick, that's one of my favorite films. And I knew it had been made over like four or five different times in each different language, Tamil, uh, Hindi, uh, Malayalam. Ah, I always say that incorrectly. Malayalam. Incorrectly. Malayalam. So I would definitely like to check it out. But in it, like, like you said, this video inspired me to go check it out. And maybe that should be one of our next film reviews just to, you know, stack it up against the other two we've already done. Because it is one of my favorite Indian films, a uh, 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 period. And I think the story is compelling, so uh, original. And I hope that, that that's the film that, that he's in. But um, last thing I'm going to say. AJ Devin is his name. AJ Devin. AJ. AJ. That's it. Um. The last thing I'm going to say, Nick, before I turn it back over to you, is artist. This is an artist. This is a guy who does Absolutely. not care about, you know, a, a, a popular um, opinion, like you said, covering some controversial topics. Even the Gandhi movie, right, with the assassination of Gandhi in there. Hey, you know, Ram. Yeah. Hey, Ram. I mean, dude, he pushes boundaries and he touches on so many different stories and I think he's one of these guys that really, you know, art uses art to imitate life, right? Wants to tell these stories and and tell them in a way where he can have people relate to the characters. So, man, that was pretty cool, dude. Super, super cool. Yeah, I I'm really, really impressed. Like you said, the artist part, but the layers that he has as well. It seems like in these characters, and you know, I don't mean this at all. Like I mentioned, Adam Sandler. You can say Tom Cruise. You can say um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Right? You talk about some Indian actors, SRK, Salman Khan. You know, a lot of these actors or actresses. You kind of know what kind of movie it's going to be, right? They step outside and they do something different sometimes. But a lot of their movies are are somewhat similar. I don't know if you can say that about this guy. And this is me not knowing, just learning what I learned from that and from video reactions and whatnot. But I, I am honestly super intrigued in, in his career, in some of the films. I mean, this guy's winning an award at the age of three for crying out loud. It, it's just remarkable. And the last thing I want to say is there's still so much of Indian cinema that I haven't even tapped, that I know anything about. And not at any point did I feel like, hey, I think I pretty much watched all the movies. No, of course not. I didn't grow up watching those movies, um, not except for the last few years. 
But man, I really don't know the majority of Indian films. And it's really important for you guys in the comment section, if you're watching this video, Kamal Hassan, I think that's how we say it now. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Which one do we have to start with, right? We're going to do a Kamal Hassan film. I know Vikram's out. That's a fresh one, but it's not available to us right now, at least. Let us know which of these we have to check out, and we'll definitely check it out on the channel. But with all that being said, let us know what you took from this. Let us know what the video might have missed that you want to say about uh, Mr. Hassan. With all that being said, until next time. Wow. I was at that six runs. Uh, but, 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 but. We know all things. <laughs>